Out of home. 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 Welcome back everybody, Dreadful Rick again, another contest entry, yes I know, it's a recurring theme, I've done so many of these, yeah. and yet again, and I'll keep repeating the same statement, it's a uh, testament to how this community is growing, and more people are jumping on board, uh, so this particular contest is in support of uh, a fellow that I've gotten to know, uh, ooh, three years now, something like that, Mark, Mark G., Mark G with a C. So of the channel, Mark G with a C. And he is not an honorable guy. He is actually a very awesome guy. And the fact that he reached 2,000 subscribers. And looking at the entries in this contest and how quickly people have, and the amount of people that jump in support of this contest, uh, is, again, just a testament to how much and how well liked he is in the VC here. Uh, he definitely is based out of the, in the UK, and so you know, uh, again, one of those people. If I'm ever there in the area, you know, I would love to get together and uh, I don't know, do something, have a beer, go record shopping. <laughs> uh, you up? To, you up for that, Mark? Go to a show. You know, uh, he has a band, Enchantment. As a lot of you will already know if you follow uh, the VC, but for those of you who are not, uh, definitely. Uh, so I will probably uh, just leave a link uh, of some sort for Enchantment. If you're not familiar with that project, you should be familiar. Uh, so uh, it's been he's been doing this uh, stuff for a long time and uh, definitely knows music into all kinds of things. Uh, he really likes Centrix. Yes, he really likes Centrix. <laughs> Great band. Uh, but if you watch the channel, it'll be apparent. Uh, but he likes other things too. Uh, he likes Death, Grind, Thrash, Hard Rock. You know, uh, I've seen him show all kinds of things, things that, that have surprised me. I'm getting very long-winded here. So what is the contest? The contest is see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Awesome theme. So these are my polls, and uh, let's get to it. So see no evil uh, will consist of album artwork that draw, draws you in. And if you feel like it really pulls you into the music. And uh, so... I got lots of this. This was a li little, a little hard uh, to pull, but uh, I decided to, um, oops, I decided to go with uh, a Swedish band because uh, Mark is a huge fan of the lovely HM2 and the horrible Swedish sound. And this is a band, which is a newer band called Under the Church, Supernatural Punishment. Look at that thing. Soak, soak it in. How definitely horrible that looks and uh yeah so this band very reminiscent of uh, grave you know uh obviously early entombed he's got definitely worship that that sound and you definitely hear it here it's got that attitude and uh they got a few tricks of their own too in there and i'm glad that that they're around and i believe this is their second full length if i'm not mistaken it came out in 2017 and uh the artwork actually is done by a fellow by the name of matthias frisk and if you know the, it's another Swedish band called Van Helgd, he is a vocalist, guitarist of that band. And as you can tell from here, he's also a very good visual artist. So 
So a lot of talent. The, the talent pool in Sweden is stupidly ridiculous. It's just there's just so much insane talent coming out of there, and this is just another yet another example. Uh, so yeah. Next up, oh by the way, one of the guitarists here. Uh, before I move on to the next one, we had a brief stint in Morbid. Uh, Marcus Clack, uh, back in the back in the eighties, and. Uh, Next up, we have a band from Ohio in the U.S., Dr. Smoke, Dreamers and the Dead. So this is their second full length. He dropped in uh, 2021. Their first day debut dropped in 2014. So they, were, they took a long hiatus. They came back with this thing. And uh, look at that. So another one to soak in. So this is uh, some, you know, a very prolific artist if you've been picking up a lot of uh, death, thrash, and I think he's done some black metal. Uh, Adam Burke. It doesn't look very typical of some of the stuff that he put that he, you know, has uh, has done as far as his work goes. And this right here is just very captivating. Something about it. And Doctor Smoke kind of plays this kind of a uh, classic sounding heavy metal, uh, hard rock, kind of enveloped in this doom, uh, very melodic take. That kind of reminds you of '90s Megadeth, kind of with the way uh, Megadeth moved from after after Rust in Peace into euthanasia, and it kind of has that sort of that, that 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 melodic take it kind of kind of envelops you in that but there's a lot of other stuff going on too uh, very catchy riffing very cool melodies and uh again this was not talked about enough when it dropped and i don't know why because this is this thing is excellent so here are here they are dreamers in the dead uh actually keep it a gigantic hype sticker right here and long awaited second album from cult metal masters dr smoke recommended if you like Mastodon, Ghosts, Cauldron, Megadeth, Angel Witch. I don't hear much Mastodon in this. Uh, I don't know where they got that from, but uh, maybe maybe some progressive elements. But not, again, it's not that obvious to me. Uh, just more more just really good melodic riffing, if anything. So okay, so that was a uh, see no evil, and then there is hear no evil. And hear no evil is kind of Mark wants us to show something that we love. That we do this la la la, we would not hear anything bad about it. Uh, we love we love what we love. We like what we like, and all that good stuff. So we have stuff in our collections that we will not get rid of, despite what people say about it. And uh, let's begin with ah uh, another Swedish classic. So this is a band that has pretty much made the template popular for that eight classic H and two sound with left hand path. And then uh, with with uh, clandestine, either was the second one, and then we have the third one, right? And then we have, uh, and I feel like with this one, they kind of uh, made the template very popular again, and they kind of uh, made that death and roll sound with uh, Wolverine Blues. You can tell how little scale back it is. Uh, the logo is different. Uh, they kind of went with this very rustic, simplistic uh, font uh, with, with what's going on here. But again, very jarring. A lot of people may have uh, dropped out of this band after this. You know, um, but I feel like other bands have kind of took form. You got to take into consideration when this came out uh, in the mid '90s. Everybody was going more towards groove, melodic takes, uh, and this band decided, uh, well, we did left hand path. That was pretty much where Magnus opens when he came to that thing. Where do we go from here? <laughs> you know, and they decided to take a different direction. I appreciate the fact that they did. And uh, songs like Contempt, for example, I love. There's a bit of experimentation going on, and other things that they do. It's not just you know balls are just death and roll. There's other things, but this right here. A lot of punch, a lot of attitude, which I really enjoy. Uh, this right here, uh, like I said, I feel like it inspired other bands to also kind of take on that style. You know, you have a uh, Punch and Stench, and Gore Fest, and other bands who kind of took on that that element and uh, and Tomb to kind of uh, took a bit of a lead on this and with Wolverine Blues and uh, yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, the other one here, which I dropped earlier, is uh, one that's I guess you could say it's a bit of a commercial album. And uh, <laughs> gotta take take into consideration in my age when I first listened to this album, it had a big impact on me. And uh, now, if you're one of those old schoolers who already been into Dishard and Dead Kennedys, and we're listening to Crow Mags in the '80s, this might seem t very tame by comparison, you know. But this is a protest, you know, fight against the establishment. We're talking about uh, Rage Against the Machine, and this album, man, uh, this album was very really hard hitting. And it just, it just got played on MTV, and it talk it, the lyrics were very deep. I mean, considering 
how commercial this album is. And uh, man, 11, 12, 13 year old me, <laughs> it was eating the shit up. And and that, that picture up front is pretty brutal. Uh, but this, uh, when you're that age, you know, what are you protesting? You know, you don't you don't know what the machine is yet. You're 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 barely out of your, the stage of playing your, your with your transformers, right? And here I am, you know, when, when you, you're, you're you're the school, the principal, your parents. I guess that's I guess to you that's the machine, right? That's what you protest. That's the that's what you got to throw the sledgehammer at, right? This is that's the pot the pot you got to piss in, and when you don't want to eat your peas. You, you get threatened when they put your Ben and Jerry's away. You're not going to have any dessert. You're like, well, fine. I don't want my dessert. I don't need my dessert. I'm not going to eat my peas just because you said I should. And you go to your room, hungry, and you still want your Ben and Jerry's, and you just end up crying. I don't know where I'm going with this. But yeah, Race Against the Machine. <laughs> Some people may put it down because it's it's a very commercial album, and the band is a uh, I don't know, kind of made it, made it may have took a disappointing direction later on in their trajectory, but not they were never as hard hitting again after this debut. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, the world was introduced to Tom Morello and the rest of the gang, and uh, so that was uh, hear no evil. Let's move on to speak no evil. Speak no evil. So Mark wants us to show uh, albums that uh we've discovered through the vc the are you know when we show albums in our videos it's, it's already pretty much a recommend uh the, just by showing it people are going to want to explore it unless you talk shit about it you know but most of us don't generally unless that's our direct approach they're very intentional uh mark is definitely not one of those guys mark is uh very supportive of a lot of bands and he shows stuff that he he likes he doesn't show stuff he doesn't like and uh, definitely uh you know appreciate that because I know what he's going to show. It's all worth checking out. So let's begin with uh, Liam, the Death Doom Metalhead. What's up, Liam? Uh, he actually showed this. He didn't talk much about this. Uh, I think he just probably just didn't spend a lot of time with it. And uh, this is an EP. The band has yet to put out a full length. And this is the first EP. Uh, so this is some Black and Death uh, out of uh, Brazil. So you can imagine uh, what that's like. So the cover is pretty much what this sounds like. So this is Wolf Lust with Satanic megatons look at that thing yeah there's another ep that came out i believe last year and it's just as ridiculous so again this band's new to me i don't know much about them i just know that it's got a ridiculous ass cover <laughs> that kind of draws you in and uh this is uh it, it doesn't quite hone in the dial of uh, quite blasphemy it kind of wants to go there this is more in tune with something like arch goat uh so if you like that kind of thing uh this is definitely will be up your alley uh so i would I think this is a, a, a two-member act, and uh, yeah, kind of, kind of crazy, <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff. So yeah, Wolf Lust. Uh, next up, we have. So shout out to Tony at the Life Eternal, Life Eternal channel, and he showed this. Tony's been doing uh, these, uh, showing his CD collection. He goes video to video. He just starts showing. He's got a lot of CDs, and it's, it's, it's going to be quite a number of videos by the time he gets done with this series. And one of the things that he showed uh, was this band out of uh, the New England band, uh, I think based out of uh, Boston, Dzonyanga. Uh, so I will leave a kind of a spelling here because I don't really know how to do this. The, the, the Sacken's Tale. So what, you hear, what we see here is a Wendigo and an indigenous person kind of having this face off with this thing. And as you guys notice, it's a formidable creature uh mythical creature that's um very well known in the area and uh this is some uh, atmospheric i guess i would say a folky atmospheric black metal um more in line uh you think of something like agalock very beautiful um sounding there's some female vocals in this all kinds of things going on and i i, I, will, I would love to see more about this band i believe they have another uh, another newer album which i need still need to explore but uh yeah avant-garde put, put some puts on some good stuff but yeah so uh this is actually not the original the original cover didn't have this border i think it was just a full painting so this is how you know this is the reissue um i have no opinion either way so both are great so uh definitely a, a band worth checking out so uh thank you tony the really really good stuff um uh, you know what i'll do one more why don't i do one more i'll do a bonus uh this is a uh, brain smasher so 
a lot of you know Brain Smasher, and uh, he actually showed this project, and I'm surprised because he's the only one I've seen actually talk about this. Uh, so Jordan Reyes out of Chicago uh, runs uh, American Decline Records. So he's, got a, uh, he's done quite a number of projects, but this is uh, one of his big ones, which is called uh, Threshing Spirit. And uh, I, this is how it's facing, I think. And it kind of, yeah, the artwork follows the way to the back. Some cosmic, psychedelic. This is some really, uh, my code fell out. So this is some um, really disturbing lo-fi, psychedelic, acid tripping, dark, kind of puts you through this sort of evil rabbit hole uh, kind of metal. Um, is it really metal? It's more ambient. There are some harsh vocal moments going on through this. If you're looking for something weird and strange and just interesting, uh, definitely check this out. So yeah, a Threshing Spirit, and this is the uh, the Crucible uh, full length. Awesome, awesome stuff. And I think it actually came out the same year uh, that uh, Jordan did the split with uh, Glass Coffin. So right here uh very really cool so uh, i actually uh just found out that um they're doing another split together which will be dropping soon i was very excited about that so very very cool glass coffee you guys know it's black metal out of uh, uh kentucky uh the guy behind uh, uh black knife so if you guys know that band so very cool uh threshing spirit so uh yeah again ben's, ben's the only one i know of that's talked about this but uh if you're into weird stuff not surprising uh Coming from someone like Ben who's into a lot of weird stuff. Uh, I'm into weird stuff. And uh, yeah, we can all just all be weird together. And so uh, that's all my pulls for this. And uh, hope you like it, Mark. Uh, awesome contest. Congratulations on 2000. And uh, you get to 5000 before you know it. You, you know. Get the support, man. <laughs> People like you that much. So uh, I'll leave you with that. And um, you all keep it dreadful. I'll catch you on the next one. Um, Maybe another contest video. Are you probably tired of these already right now? I don't know. <laughs> There's just so many of them. Maybe I'll just do another regular video. Kind of space this out a little. Uh, so, yeah. Catch you all in the next one. Keep it dreadful.